Thanks for listening to a quick tutorial on using TechBot 360 to look at uh, pressure and density gradients. I've had uh, several people ask me questions recently about Schlieren diagrams or Schlieren images using TechBot 360. Now, Schlieren is an optical technique looking for inhomogeneous uh, density fields or density gradients in um, typically in trans translucent media like air. Um, this works really well when you're looking in supersonic flow because there's large changes in the density and it's as it passes through the shock waves. And these density changes you can actually see in an image. Now in computational methods one can actually use a technique of the shadow graph to look at uh, the same pressure gradients. In TechPlot I've actually brought up something. This is very simple. It is a um, it's a supersonic airfoil. We're just looking at one slice of that airfoil. The uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate a variable. The variable we're going to calculate is shadow graph. So you can hit S until you get down to it. It's a relatively small data set, so you really don't need to use calculate on demand. And we'll go ahead and hit calculator. Now, if you're using uh, a code like in this case where uh, you haven't specified field variables, you'll have to go into analyze and say, well, let's let's specify those. So, uh, for pressure, we'll use pressure, and for density, we'll use density. Okay. We'll select the variables of U and V. Okay. And uh, we'll say okay. Now we'll do the calculate. Okay, looks like it's done. All right. Now, um, if we go into the contour variable, we'll go to number eight, and we'll select shadow graph. You can see that there's a a large variation in the shadow graph function. So, if we turn on contour for shadow graph, uh, you may not see what you're looking for. So, uh, first thing we're going to do, coloring wise, we'll look at uh, grayscale. And uh, now you can see uh, the shadow graph in more detail. Another way to do this is using a, continu a continuous spectrum. Oftentimes the small variations get washed out if you move to continuous coloring. So I'll move this over. Uh, if we move to continuous, you'll see it goes away. And it's, it's basically because the banded's an easier way to, to try to find those things so, or to see that gradients. Um, you can also use the add and subtract contours to try to uh, put a little more detail in the fine structure. But there you have it, a simple way to calculate shadow graph function and to create the equivalent of a Schlieren diagram.